It's Saturday. Fact, I was in We're back in my old stomping grounds here in Soho. And today's art day. Haven't really indulged in much art in a few months. A minute. So we're here. Gonna check out some art here. And um, yeah, just pretty much gallery hopping. And then probably get something cool to eat or some, some drinks later on. There's a spot I want to hit up called Watermark. And they had some really good food. And now they turned their location into like this unique winter haven. So I want to go there and hopefully we could get in and grab some hot cocoa and just cozy up. So stay tuned, y'all. See you guys in a few. A few moments later. Art partially about. what art's about yeah i feel like the symbolism is really about how consumerism may drive bad behavior and i think that's the word i'm looking for it's like and we're doing all this for what if you really mm -hmm. think about it it's just to buy what gucci bags and louis bags and who's winning in the end is the question right the people get in the stuff or the, the companies that say we love our customers because we, exactly. we're making them rich as i think about it more words will come to my mind, but I definitely want to read the press release because I came in here with an open mind to kind of look at the art first, mm -hmm. digest it, come up with my own interpretation, and then read into what it what it's all about. And that's how I like to digest art. I like to make my own interpretations and then read up on what the artist was trying to convey and yep. the message to see, hmm, am I in line with that or am I out of line with that? So yeah. This is in connection to what you were saying earlier right. about, you know, what do guns have to do with consumers? It's the things, the bad behaviors. Like Robbing, stealing, killing. This is one over here. The first thing that came in my mind was that dream first. He's like, my God, I feel good for you, Oh, wow, that's so true. It's like a gun over here. And that's so true. Like, Dope fit. Thank you. Wow. So now we're off to the next gallery. There's a gallery next door. Is this still open? Uh, looks like a Black Wall Street gallery. So we're heading into this gallery. More art. Tuesday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Is it past six? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, we made it. My husband had a list. He just said math. He said this math, math is, is heavy. I know earlier like when we was walking, he was Spine like, them. I thunk. I'm like, thunk or think? So my bet. we just indulged in some of the art at the second gallery. Um, 
It's very, very dark art. I mean, not my scene, but I understand every artist has to put some of themselves in their work. So whatever your struggle is or whatever you're going through or how you feel or what you want to talk about, that's going to go into your your, per your work. So um, it was like a lot about like celebrities that have moved on, transitioned and like... What's your real opinion? I just, some of them, some of the... Um, some of the art just kind of made me feel like eerie so i couldn't i couldn't really get into it but that doesn't mean it's, it's not for everyone you know so mm -hmm. yeah i think i think he was trying to be uh thoughtful in how he delivered the message but it came off a bit creepy maybe that's the headspace he was in as an artist and how he kind of views these things mm -hmm. but personally we like positivity we like upbeat things we like things that pop with color that because that's just the frequency we're on so you know more more respect to him as an artist you know can't you can interpret art from whatever perspective you want but it's just not my cup of tea personally so yeah so now we're going to head to grab some food i want to check out the watermark like i mentioned earlier they have um outside winter haven vibes right now and they have like s'mores hot chocolate, all that good stuff. Like how how is the temperature right now inside? Would you say? Um, I'd say it's less windy mm -hmm. outside. It's still a little cold. Maybe it's just my body adjusting to the fact that we're inside now. But it's dope. It's a dope vibe. It really looks like a winter wonderland. Like it's just bright vibes. Yeah, I'm gonna do this spiked hot cocoa. Cocoa? The same for yourself? Yeah, same for me too. What's your name, by the way? Adami. 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 Thank you. So we just found out that the hot cocoa is spiked and it's so funny because right before we were coming here I was like we were talking about like ski trip vibes so it's good to know so if you do decide to come here just know they have they do have hot stuff they have hot chocolate hot cider both spiked and the menu is pretty much like this this is the drink menu it looks like so oh the food menu is here so you're definitely gonna have different types of foods and drinks that are gonna keep you warm and then this is the vibe inside so in coming here i didn't know that the glass houses were for everyone i just thought like okay you can come here and get some hot cocoa um grab food i didn't know what it was i, I assumed that you can sit inside but i wasn't sure once i was looking online that it said reserve a glass house but everyone gets a glass house when you come here so just know you will be inside a heated glass house it's still cold so you do need to keep your jacket on it's not like one of those situations yeah. where you can i mean it depends I mean, actually, on it's feel a little warmer yeah but but you're right it's not like warm to the point you're gonna wear short sleeves yeah definitely i guess it depends on you as a person um i'm easily cold and so That's this true. me i'm definitely not taking my jacket off i'll open it up a little bit like this but for the most part um it is very like you can sit in here and chill and i'm sure once we get our spiked hot cocoa the 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 vibe is going to change a little we'll probably feel more like okay we're warming up definitely give you guys our review so if you decide to come to watermark for this winter wonderland experience you know what you're gonna get and what to look out for our spiked hot cocoa is here cheers babe how is it wow that's fire 
as good. Whoa, I taste the alcohol at I the very it, end, but it's, but it's very, so good. It's smooth. It's not like, you know, overwhelming. It's like, it tastes like hot chocolate. Yeah. It tastes like hot chocolate with a little bit of like, that hint of like, reserve or something. what was in it? Type Let me see. Spiked with, yeah, bourbon. It said your choice of rum, bourbon. We didn't even make a choice. Mm. So whatever he put in there is what he put. So that's our review on the spiked hot cocoa. And then for our food, we ordered a lobster stew soup. Uh, it's, no, it's just a seafood stew. Oh, seafood stew. Yeah. I said lobster stew soup. You think about the lobster bits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, what else did we get? I have the menu here. And we got so. the uh, truffle fries. Truffle fries. And then we also got the crispy coconut shrimp. Shrimp. And uh, that was it, right? Like, what else That's did we get? It. That's it. So, we're gonna try the food. We're definitely gonna give you guys reviews as always. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. But this this spiced this is hot really cocoa good. is is everything. I love it. It's everything. So our food has arrived. We're just waiting now on the soup. A few moments later. Right, so truffle fries, real review. Mm. Very good. Good? Yes, sir. What kind of sauce is that, by the way? This is aioli. Okay, cool. It's like your, your general truffle fries. Okay. Coconut shrimp, taste test. Dipped in a nice sweet and sour Asian sauce. Mm, looks good. Mm. Thoughts? Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's fire. It's like the taste kept going. I taste the coconut. Very, very good. I recommend you try this if you come. One hour later. seeing so many rats like this seeing so many welcome to new york city the seafood stew was so so good fire the bread that came with it the mussels um so if you ever come to watermark for this winter wonderland experience i recommend it i recommend that you come enjoy yourself have some spiked hot cocoa or some hot cider i'm freezing right now we're getting ready to leave but thank you guys for tuning in Thank you guys for being loyal followers and fans. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Ding. Share this video if you care. And I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. To the next vlog. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Don't leave my channel just yet. Don't forget to check out the latest videos here on my YouTube channel.